The collaboration is a welcome development in the agricultural sector and indeed the capital market sector of the Nigerian economy. Um, as we are all aware, there has been a debt of credit to the agricultural sector, even though agriculture has always been the largest contributor to GDP for the country. Now, in a bid to increase activity in the sector and to increase participants playing in the sector, we partnered with Stellenbach and Bikambi to deploy a solution that can easily grant investors access to investing in agriculture without necessarily bearing all the risk inherent in direct farming. Now, um, Stellenbank has been one of the greatest, biggest players in the agricultural sector in Nigeria, and they've done a lot of work in financing farmers in production of agricultural commodities. This partnership, leveraging on the blockchain technology, is meant to reduce the risk inherent in agriculture, especially the high transaction costs that players bear when they are investing in the market. Over the years, um, statistics shows that we need about 83 billion naira to get Nigeria's agricultural sector to where it needs to be over the next two to three years. With this technology being deployed, we see an avenue where we can easily and seamlessly direct credits to the sector. As you may be aware, IFEX is a commodities exchange licensed by the SEC. And with this partnership, we hope to bring credibility into the sector as well as direct seamless credits into financing farmers' operations by engaging capital market players to leverage on this technology to reach their target market. Right, but can you break it down a bit further for us? So we have the smallholder farmers and then of course we have the investors. How, how does blockchain help to bring both together and where exactly, uh, what role rather does the FX Commodities Exchange play in this um, relationship? Thank you very much. Um, as you may be aware, FX works a lot with smallholder farmers. Over the years, we've transacted with over 100,000 smallholder farmers in the market. Our job and our role in the market is to create an avenue where capital could be seamlessly directed towards financing smallholder farmers in the production of their commodities. Now, as you may be aware, blockchain leverages on technology that ensures that there's traceability and accountability across the value chain from smallholder farmers who are producing these commodities to the markets that they will be sold in. When you have such technology in place and with this partnership, you will be able to trace the source of the products that are being consumed by buyers across the market up to the last farmer that is selling these products to consumers. Um, smallholder farmers in Nigeria are like the bedrock of the agricultural sector. They contribute about 70% to the production, and on average, they, for, they, they farm just one hectare, which is a small portion, which is comparatively low to global averages. With this technology, you'll be able to direct financing to them, whereas you'll also be able to trace where the products are being sourced from and ensure that end-to-end, -end, there's visibility across the value chain, there's integrity across the value chain, and you can easily and seamlessly direct um, credits to, this, to farmers that need these for their production needs. Right. Uh, Akinka, I wonder if you have any numbers in terms of your projections here. Potentially, how much can we get to the farmers through this partnership? Um, over the next um, two to three years, we're looking at um, between 10 and 20 billion naira to be directed to these smallholder farmers for their financing needs with this technology. Now, that sounds great. And how scalable is this, though? Um, will it always be a case of the um, AFX Commodities Exchange working with the smallholders, farmers, and then, of course, financial institutions, and then, of course, the investors? Uh, Nigeria is obviously a big country. The big question is, to what extent can we get to potentially all smallholder farmers working in Nigeria? Well, well that's the beauty of technology. You don't have to reinvent the wheel. Once it, now that the technology is up and running and the partnership is in place, it will be easy to scale up because all players that come on board, they don't have to start from, they don't have to do the groundwork again. Now, in terms of FX financing, um, creating create an avenue for financing of farmers, FX can reach only a limited number of farmers. But putting this technology in place, you allow other players to come in and plug in with visibility across the value chain. Financing is key. We are talking about billions of naira that is required to finance this sector. When you have a technology that doesn't need to be reinvented every time it's needed, you create transparency across the market 
and enable players that want to play in to not be worried about how the financing will get to the buy to the seller of the commodities and also the farmers will not have to concern themselves about the financing needs once the technology is in place fully any player that is interested in plugging into this will just come in and um, plug into the partnership that is already on ground to increase their reach to increase the value being created to small other farmers and also to increase the to make to uh, um, enable nigeria to reach the agricultural potential Right, but Akinika, my sense is that most smallholder farmers in Nigeria are not very tax tech savvy. So, how do we make this uh, a platform that um, the illiterate farmer can can plug into? And to what extent is the AFX Commodity Exchange and other partners helping to organize these smallholder farmers so that they can benefit from this scheme? Because, uh, like every business that is seeking capital, you, you really have to have certain structures before you can get that capital. Exactly, exactly, I agree with you. Now, do we need all smallholder farmers to have access to computing devices or laptops to plug into this? No, so long as there's a direct infrastructure that is designed to be able to reach them at their level, they don't need to be the ones En engaging with this technology. Now, we know that there are lots of infrastructural deficit in the upstream of agricultural financing in Nigeria. For example, smallholder farmers don't have telecommunication devices in their locations. How do we leverage this to meet them? Now, the idea is, with Sterling Bank coming into the picture, you, you see financial inclusion in play. That means you need to get smallholder farmers to be financially included in the system. Once they're financially included and leveraging on the commercial banks, branch network, you will be able to build traceability to these farmers without them necessarily being the one operating this technology. Blockchain technology is not what you interact with um, as an individual on a daily basis, but it's more like a distributed ledger that you can plug into to get visibility on the system, and it also ensures transparency up to the last level. All right. Um, um, do we have to wait for the system to be fully up before we operate? No, but once you start this partnership, you get other players to be involved, then you start building the critical infrastructure required to get to the smallholder level. One very quick final question. How soon do we see this taking off? Very quickly. Oh, it's already up. Oh, 